Okay, everybody, welcome to today's episode. I'm your host, Coleman Erickson, with the show, and today we're going to look at five great uh, products, tech products on Amazon. Um, so we're going to start at the bottom of the list with the first one. This is the Movo Photo MB200 Universal Camera Holster. And this is a great little system for on-the-go photo and video taking. And basically, it allows you to connect your camera to it via these little attachments that you just screw into the bottom of your camera and allow you to slide it in right to the little holster right there. And you clip um, this little end right here onto the camera and that way you can just pull it off and put it back on whenever you need. Item number two is a rather smaller, cheaper item. It's from Amazon Basics. And it's basically a 3.5 millimeter head jack cable, which, you know, basically has the male ends on both ends. Um, but the difference is it's curled, making it, you know, smaller and more portable and you know, harder to tangle up, so that's one of the benefits, and of course, it's Amazon Basics, so for the most part, it's going to be a reliable product. Now, this next product isn't really a tech product, but it's something that I've bought before and I've been really satisfied with, especially for the price. It's a Swiss Army Knife uh, pocket multi-tool that comes with its own leather holster, and it has plenty of tools, including scissors, large and small blades, a can and bottle opener and a saw and on the other side there's a small letter opener a wine bottle opener um, one of those hooks really haven't figured out a use for that but there's also a pair of tweezers and a toothpick inside so you can see that little yellow piece right there is a toothpick that uh, slides out and it's only $34 for both the multi-tool and the holster and I think that's what really sells me on this this is something from Native Union. This is a company that I've, you know, been a fan of for a long time, and um, I. This is one of their products. It's a uh, portable um, charger, and of course they have it for micro USB as well. Not USB Type C though, which is becoming ever more important in today's uh, cell phone business. Um, but they have it in, you know, Lightning and USB uh, micro USB. And it's uh, $24.99 for a Native Union belt cable, so it tucks away easily, no, you know, no tangling up in your backpack, so that's nice. This is a more expensive item, but, you know, to me, this is a really great monitor for its price. Um, this is uh, from LG, who is known for their uh, really great uh, ultra-wide monitors, and this one basically packs with those pack but in a uh, smaller uh, smaller body and it was around 600 was the market price as far as I understand um, it's 700 actually according to Amazon um, but ever since I've bought it it's already dropped four percent and you know that's already from its already decreased prices so Comparatively, this thing, the prices are going to keep going down, so, you know, I get it while you still can. Now this next product, one other bonus item I want to point out is this Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, which, it's a second generation, so it's a newer one. This is the audio processing that will allow me to put this audio and um, sync it up you know get good audio quality out of this sooner or later and basically it has uh, two channels um, they can uh, support either uh, here let me have an example they can support either these larger uh, microphone cables or a smaller um, you know large headphone jack size uh, and it, it'll both, uh, it'll take them both in and it has a headphone out for monitoring the audio. Um, other than that, this will uh, be coming into the studio soon, so this audio will be working and it won't be working off of the camera's audio. So thanks for watching today's video. 
Um, of course, this was a small experimental video. If you like the format, tell us down in the comments. Um, we don't have any future plans for more episodes like this, but if you like it, feel free to tell us and we may make more. Um, other than that, uh, we should be getting back on schedule for one video, maybe even more a week, and the podcast should be starting up soon, uh, either this month or next month, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.